ePersima FastDS Monitor is a graphical tool aimed at tracking the communications behavior within FastDS-based network architectures, allowing users to visualize key metrics such as latency or throughput in a simple and straightforward manner. Multi-platform installers and portable versions of the application can be found at ePersima.com, as well as pointers to relevant documents and websites. This quick demo will walk you through the setting up of a simple scenario with only one publisher and subscriber establishing communication and will show you at a glance some of the features and possibilities that FastDS Monitor has to offer. DDS entities are deployed by using Improxima Shapes Demo, a graphical tool used to test the correctness of a specific implementation of DDS protocol. First of all, we need to activate the FastDS statistics module for the monitor to function. Now, we're ready to launch a publisher. Default settings will do. Next, we launch a subscriber following similar steps. Once the communication has been established, we are ready to start monitoring. And now, let's explore the FastDS monitor. To launch the application, click on the Start button and insert the ID of the DDS domain to monitor. We can now see that two DDS entities have been detected in this domain. These entities correspond to our Shapes Demo publisher and subscriber. We can change the alias of any element appearing on the panel for clarity purposes. On the bottom left corner, the Info and Statistics panel can be found. It shows a summary of the properties and retrieved the statistics data of the entity being selected. By default, only the DDS panel is displayed, but we can also have a look at detected logical entities, such as domains or topics, as well as physical ones, like hosts, users or processes. Apart from the main explorer panel, one can switch anytime to the monitor status sidebar and inspect the current state of the application. Events, occurring in the DDS network, known as callbacks, are registered and shown in the local tab. There is also a dedicated issues panel, which lists the error events of the application. Let's now start plotting some statistic data. We can choose the kind of statistics data, time window, and how often we wish to add new data points to our plot. I will choose latency here. Now, we get to choose the kind of a statistical measure we wish to visualize, and also which entities to consider in the calculation. I will plot the mean, standard deviation, and minimum values of the latency between our shapes demo publisher and subscriber. Let's add a new graph for plotting the subscription throughput. This time, I will take into account all entities hosted on my machine. It is possible to move charts around. Click on any curve's name to toggle its display hit the right-click button to customize them at will. We can inspect any region of interest at any moment. While pressing the control button, one can move around the plot or zoom with the mouse wheel. Zooming into a concrete area can also be done by pressing the shift button and selecting the region of interest. Once the graph is stopped, you can check any value up close. This is how you can set up a simple scenario and visualize the behavior of your communications. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember to take control of your communications with FastDS Monitor.